operating the, yeah, you know, the government uh, as a, you know, as a my ministry, the officially we have the wishes, you know, to continue to the best energy mix, including the nuclear power plants. And so officially we, we will say, we will continue to say it's necessary, you know, to generate, uh, to create a new, new nuclear power plant. But, you know, if it is uh, the, just the case for the TEPCO, or the, you know, for example, the Fukushima originally has a plan to add the new, new nuclear power plant in the same site. Okay, it's not easy. We fully really understand, but some psychological effect for the other regions. Right. Yeah, for example, the to what extent we have uh, those kind of you know the, the nuclear power plant which is located in the you know different you know. Or you know geographic situation. Yeah, I, I mean that uh, you know uh, geometric situation. And then it's not too easy. Uh, you know, we have to explain how those kind of nuclear plant plant is different from the Fukushima. Otherwise, you know, people are not easy to be persuaded. And also, uh, you know. That you know, but but you know, we are starting those kind of communication. But at this moment, you know, uh, 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 electricity power industry, other than Tepco, is not uh, has not been so successful in terms of the communication with the people who's uh, living in the neighboring areas. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that is my you know observations. Toshi, two questions. Uh, do most of your members, did they have shares in TEPCO from the pension funds? Question one. And question two, uh, would you advise your pensions to invest in nuclear? And no action was taken. And then, 
What is social responsibility? What a sustainable responsible investment? If we have lots of investment, are we or are we aren't we going to take action? It is too quick and premature to make decisions, but the company should be accountable for, for it to explain what happened, and already the typical share price has gone up to one-fifth of one was before. So, pension fund, we have not uh, advised to release typical share from the pension fund, but from a socially responsible investment point of view, we would like to keep those things in mind. When, um when I speak to various uh, investors and they go through all their financial modeling and their cash flow analysis and that, and if you did that kind of rigorous uh, analysis of nuclear energy, which usually takes 15 years before they even start generating power, 30 years maybe uh, generating power, and then a fortune for the decommissioning costs, Nuclear makes no financial sense whatsoever. In addition, I, I find it interesting that not a single insurance company in the world will ever insure it. And almost every nuclear power plant has to be built with massive government support. So, uh, from a financial point of view, I'm not, personally, I'm not concerned about the, the radiation. I'm not frightened of the radiation. There's probably more radiation mobile phones around them than, than, than in general. So I'm not frightened of that. But it doesn't make any sense at all from a financial point of view because the cost of power generation is so ridiculously high when you calculate everything. Um, why has that discussion never really happened among the five? Maybe it's behind your terminal you're talking about this. But I don't hear financial people talking about it much. I think from a UK perspective, we are talking about it, and you may know that the UK is in the process of uh, effectively renewing its entire nuclear fleet over the next 15 to 20 years. Uh, the government has been very keen to bring in the private sector to, to fund that entire programme. The private sector has effectively said that there's too much problems here, uh, which you both touched on. Problem. First of all, um, capital cost is uncertain. The new nuclear power plant in Finland is already 150% over budget and I think uh, more than two and a half years late. Uh, so there's a big hole in the balance sheets of the companies that are still behind that. And the second point of course is the, the decommissioning risk which is uh, increasingly uncertain uh, both in time scale and in payoff. So faced with those two uncertainties, the financial sector in the UK has effectively said look without government intervention in some shape or form to um, limit at least the decommissioning risk, um, then we're not going to come to the table. So I think um, it is very much an issue for the financial sector when the rubber hits the road and go and say, we want this, um, these plans built now and we want the private sector to come in, are you willing to come to the table? But in a time where, I'm just going to jump to the book, in a time where the, you, the governments have bailed out the banks worldwide, and have gone to the taxpayer, not you know, forcefully saying, well, you're gonna have to, we're gonna have to borrow money for 20 years and you're gonna have to pay all this back. Uh, are you willing to go to the Japanese citizens and say, well, we're gonna back nuclear again. If something goes wrong, you're gonna have to pay for it. Which is, that's fundamentally the issue. If you're saying, we won't invest unless you guarantee and your guarantee is something based on the citizens. 